Okay, welcome back. I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, this is Brandon. Tell me about your channel. Hey. Uh, yeah, I have a YouTube channel where I play Madden and I commentate on the games that I play. It's called Brandon Commentates. Uh, Truxton will put the link in the description. Yes, I'll, I'll have the link down there. Go check him out and subscribe. He's trying to get his golden, was it golden play button the first one? Or silver? Silver, yeah. Silver. For a hundred thousand. He's getting close. Oh yeah. No, he actually has good progress. But anyways, we're making this video because if you've seen what's going on in the US lately, it's pretty crappy. So I've been looking at other countries. And this guy has been to a handful of countries. And he's gonna tell us about them. And uh hopefully have some, yeah. some cool stories to share, tell us some cool things about them. So first All tell right. us Tell us what countries you've been to. Uh, well, Italy, which was really cool. Uh, Austria, uh, Germany, England, Scotland. That was a long time ago. Uh, France, Canada, Switzerland, and obviously I was born here in the United States. So, And unfortunately uh, still live here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I'd probably... <laughs> rather live in one of those countries but you know <laughs> yeah yeah so um what country stood out to you which one which one do you have um, like uh uh well probably italy because it had just i mean you could walk anywhere and you're gonna find something historical that you've learned in class or you've seen somewhere because like I mean, we stayed in this hotel right next to the Coliseum, and it was just... And then we saw the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Me and my dad actually went all the way to the top. Oh, you did? All the way. And it was pretty scary going up the steps. I was holding onto the, the railing the whole time, because I was scared I was going to like fall or something. Is it like leaning uh, inside? Yeah, it, it was really weird. I was like leaning... While I was trying to walk up, I don't know. It was a weird, it was a weird walk up oh, the man. stairs for sure. Uh, we went, yeah. So we went all the way to the top, and then it was like a staircase was, and then the one to the top was all really caved in and small, and it was like really tight. And my mom, and my sister didn't want to do it because it was pretty claustrophobic. And yeah, it was it was pretty crazy that day. Um, yeah, and yeah, Coliseum was really cool. It's huge. There's so much stuff there. I mean, we walked around, you know, where people used to sit to watch, you know, Christians and Catholics get killed by lions and stuff because, you know, that was their entertainment back then. So that was, uh, and then we saw these, these cages that they'd throw Christians into. <laughs> Oh, to man. get ready for their next battle. So that place is, it's a pretty evil place, but there's a lot of history and really cool stuff. It's barely hanging up. It's barely standing, but I'm not saying don't go. It's just, um, yeah, it's pretty worn down. So that was, that was a pretty cool place. So, so was, uh, that, uh, leaning tower of Pisa. That was a pretty cool place. Um, Another cool thing, I had my first drink there, and uh, I had some wine and some beer. You can actually start drinking at 16, and it was honestly not very good. I'm pro I'm happy I don't like alcohol. <laughs> that could be, that could end up being very bad. Um, uh, yeah, I was oh, yeah. 18. Yeah, that was yeah those trips. That trip was more recent, just under a year ago. Uh, so yeah, that was probably the probably the country that uh, stood out to me the most. That yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. And it's funny you say that. I was just gonna ask you which country you had your first drink in. Yeah, it was Italy. It was uh, Italy. Yeah, it was. So, yeah. so all these different countries, right? Speaking of drinks and stuff, we'll go on to the food. And I know yeah. you couldn't really eat much of the food in a lot of these countries because. They were all carbs. Yeah. But which country had did you feel like had the best food? Oh, uh, man. Um, well, I'm going to have to go with the same country. Um, Italy had 
pretty amazing stuff. I mean, like, you know how, like, we order, like, Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, whatever? Well, they had these, like, um, they had these, like, like, pizzas baked right in front of your face, and it was, like, and it was, they were very good looking. My parents said they were very good. Oh, man. Um, They had a lot of different foods as well, so it was... It wasn't just pizza. They had other, you know, like baked goods and, and, and treats and, and like dinners that I've never even seen before. Um, and uh, yeah, what I um, what I could eat, which is obviously like meats and stuff if you ever, you know, know about the keto diet. Um, uh, the meats, uh, they were good. Like I had like some sausage and uh, there's like chicken and all that stuff. Sometimes would eat like the cheese and uh and sauce and stuff off of the bread of the pizza that's because, a good idea yeah and it was it was it was really good so um yeah it was really cool to sit down at like uh some of these restaurants some of them are hundreds of years old like in like these people's families for like generations and i mean the culture and around you know just some of these restaurants is pretty crazy you know how how you know how many people have you know ran that store over you know hundreds of years right like a family thing so i think that's really cool those family businesses oh yeah for sure but you're talking about the culture and stuff so when you were over there in all these different countries how did you like how did you talk to people did you have to learn some of the language or, or how did how did you order your food well, a lot of these countries that I went to, they have to learn uh, English um, because a lot of tourists comes through. Uh, they come through their countries, and a lot of them are from, you know, maybe Canada or the United States, where you know most of them only speak English. Really? So we did. Uh, yeah, they do. They um they have to learn English. Uh, most of them, at least. So we, uh, so most of them spoke English. Uh, yeah, so we didn't really have any problems. Like they could, they understood what we were saying, you know, when they spoke in, uh, French, I'm sorry, not French, when they spoke in Italian, I didn't know what they were saying. Obviously, (laughs) I don't know any of that language, but, um, but yeah, it was actually, uh, pretty easy. Um, uh, you could, you would think it would be harder, but you know, they're, pretty prepared for uh tourists from you know the united states and people who speak english so was that, that in, was nice in all of the countries or just in italy all of them they uh the worst was probably switzerland they could speak english but it was more like 50 50 so it was like pretty hard uh. but we were still able to you know, get around and stuff, but, uh, and, uh, what we will also come around to that later about how expensive that place is. Oh yeah. That's on the list. You know, let's just talk about it now. We're going into it. So, uh, which, which countries were like the most affordable and most expensive? Well, Austria was actually pretty affordable. It was really nice. The hills were amazing. There was like these castles and and stuff we went through. It was so cool. And like, like the hotels and food and all that was like something like, like it was like real good food and it was affordable too. Like in any day, you know, Joe could be able to go in and, you know, I don't know, buy a sandwich from a, from a restaurant for, I, I don't really know how much, but it would be a, in a very affordable price, you know, like anybody would be able to pay that. Um, uh, there was a lot there. I mean, it was it was crazy. The views and all that stuff. It was, again, yeah, very affordable. Um, what about the like, most expensive? Oh, mo- oh, absolutely, Switzerland. It's like one of the most expensive places in the world. Really? I, um, it is. And I went and to this restaurant because I was hungry. And got this hamburger. Well, they said it was a hamburger, and <laughs> it cost twenty nine dollars. Holy crap! Was that like the best hamburger you've ever had? Actually, it was horrible because <laughs> when you opened up the bun, there was two little chicken nuggets inside, 
And that's and they called that a hamburger apparently. What? And the they heck? charged us almost thirty dollars for. It was so expensive that like, um, I mean, the hotel or or whatever we stayed in was like real expensive and stuff. And but there's a lot of hiking and there's a lot of there and a lot of little towns and a lot of cool stuff. I understand why it's expensive. It's a smaller place. Um, you know, smaller villages. Obviously, they you know. They want more, you know, they're going to need more money because they got to get stuff shipped in there. And, you know, there's not a lot of people probably in there. So, you know, it's kind of understandable why everything's so expensive. But, but I mean, like a hamburger here at McDonald's is like a couple bucks, right? But then there I'm like $30. I couldn't believe it. I mean, when I, I mean, we were just hungry, right? So sometimes you just got to get food, right? Mm. And I was so disappointed. I, I couldn't believe it. It was crazy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I know. So you mentioned the hiking and all the small towns and the hills in, in uh, Austria, right? Uh, what, yeah. What country do you feel like had the coolest, like, like, um, like surroundings? Kind yeah. Of? Like landscape. Uh, I'm going to say Austria, like I just said, because it was just like the mountains, like I said, the scenery, uh, like we did this hike. I don't know. I know you've never seen the sound of music before, but maybe someone has before. It's the same hill they climbed. It was a pretty tough climb. We got up there and there was mountains all over. It was beautiful sunshine. It was like, we could see everything we could see castles on the mountains like these like thousand year old castles or hundreds of years old and it was just the views were just crazy and and i mean usually i don't like hiking honestly i don't even like running or walking but (laughs) but uh but yeah that was definitely an experience and you know if someone ever went to europe that's definitely a place you want to go to because you know it's more than just hiking. There's cool shops, like you know, like I was saying, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of history in Austria as well. I mean, all of Europe, right? There's always a little bit of history. It's um, it's near, you know, Italy, so some of the stuff carries over to Austria as well. So it's uh, there's a lot of stuff to go see and explore. So it's definitely one of the cooler countries I've been to, definitely. That's pretty cool. It's funny you say you were talking about walking and stuff and how in Italy you can walk everywhere and hiking. There's a lot yeah. of hiking stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What countries did you notice had the healthiest people and which ones had the unhealthiest people? Well, this is really funny because I know I keep saying Italy for everything, but in Italy, there's just garbage food everywhere. So much calories and carbs. And then, but... In some of the, like one of the cities we went to, you couldn't even drive. There was no roads. It was just stone roads, stone paths. It was like a normal city, but you couldn't drive. You people rode their bikes. People walked. Uh, there was canals where people would go in boats. We went in one of those boats. We went around the area and through canals and stuff. That's pretty cool. And it was and uh, yeah. So you'd think they would be overweight there, but. They were definitely skinnier. Um, uh, Let me think. I'm going to probably say Germany. There was a lot of... the. It was probably the most... There weren't, like, a lot of overweight people there, but it was probably the most. It's kind of funny because when you go across the world to another country, you see, like, what the heck? These guys aren't overweight, you know, like, because in America, you know, you're going to see, you know, an overweight person all the time on the street. But it took forever to find an overweight Italian or, you know, Austrian, right? It just took forever. And we finally, finally found one. But then we were like, <laughs> oh, wait, this is an American tourist. Uh, but, yeah, uh, they really keep in shape there, that's for sure. So that's pretty uh, they're cool. They're always on the go, so. <laughs> yeah. So, out of all those countries, could you pick a favorite country that you've been to? Like favorite, like for what? Just like in general, or just like yeah, like where you went to that you enjoyed being there the most? 
Okay, well, this was a long, long time ago when I went to Scotland, France, and England. But when I went to Scotland, I'm not saying it's... I would say it was most enjoyable. I wouldn't say it's the my favorite favorite, but I would say it's, like, most enjoyable because I have, like, a few cousins there, and I've never met them before. And I met them, and they were all super cool and stuff, and... I have a few cousins up here, but uh, they're like th those in Scotland are like more around my age, you know. And it was really cool to like hang out with them and you know see what they do in that country. Like what you know, like do they play the same video games or do they go do the same activities? You know, is um, but my favorite place was probably Austria because it was just there was it was just so much just history from movies like older movies um which i watch and like i said the views the mountains the roads uh have you have you ever heard of the roman roads you know the roman roads uh -huh. all right well there's the so during a war a lot like hundreds and hundreds of years ago uh they would use they would travel on these roads to get like to where they needed to go like to battle and stuff and uh, it's it was actually in Italy, and it was and these go for thousands of miles, and they're so and it was they were and we were biking along them, and and it was really really cool. You're kind of thinking like, wow, you know, horses and with chariots and stuff. Uh, they were you know they were going down these roads to go to war. You know, it was like a really cool funny thought. You know, but it's real bumpy. It's real old, right? So. Oh man. It's definitely. Is it like like paved? No, it was like rocks. Like they like, like it was like a rocky road. It was not. It was, they like, they layered out rocks, but then there was still like little crevices where your bike tire would go up and over. So oh. that's why there was little paths on the side of the road. So I tried keeping on those paths, but then I was kind of like, I kind of want to. I don't want to bike on this road and I didn't fall or crash or anything surprisingly but you know it's uh, it's pretty cool to you know see that especially sometimes if one of you has heard of that in school or something like that that is pretty cool <laughs> so when you were saying you wanted to see what your cousins did in Scotland like if they played the same video games or what they did during the day what what yeah, did they do uh, well, that was, like, a long time ago, but they actually had an Xbox, and they were playing Call of Duty and stuff like that, just, like, like, it's funny, because we might look at, we might be like, wow, you know, they're across the world, they must be so different, you know, but they're people just like us, right, so, and a lot of them, you know, have the same hobbies, they might not have the same hobbies, you know, they're into other sports, right? They're like into, you know, their football, right? But we call it soccer. They like, you know, uh, European sports. I like can't rugby. Think of else. Rugby. rugby. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we actually seem to have a lot in common. Uh, they really did do, like, a lot of the normal things that I see in America. I mean... Really, the only difference is, like I said, you know, there's, you know, the obesity, their countries might be ran a little bit better. Well, for now, uh, we'll see. Eventually, we'll see in the next couple months. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was really cool um, to see family member that you've never seen before, especially your age. My dad, he's obviously seen them plenty of times went to his wedding and all that but uh yeah uh they are all really nice and all pretty relatable uh and had a lot of interesting stories to say and stuff and especially living in a different country so they kind of get a uh different culture vibe around there um like they don't you know uh have a costco everywhere right you know or a walmart everywhere what uh, no Costco. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they probably have Walmart. I think they have Walmart there, but it's definitely not like you know a store you see every mile, right? So, uh, it's um, it's different. Yeah, they have like uh, what was this? Uh, 
they had these stores all over and I forgot what they're called but it was kind of like a Walmart or like a Super One which is a local shop in uh, the Hayden area um, but yeah it uh yeah it, it was different <laughs> for sure I can't remember everything because I was like probably 10 or 11 years old but it's still something that stands out for sure so dang it was that long ago I thought it was more recent than that no it was yeah it was that was it was a long time ago for sure so wow um yeah i want to go back but you know we went to a lot of other cool places so so living in america do you would do you ever consider moving out of america and if you do where would you go uh well my parents keep talking they're like well if trump doesn't get elected then we might have a talk about it and right now i don't want to move but if joe biden does get in for another four years then i definitely would probably think about it and i bet you would probably be thinking about it as well oh yeah and i would probably go to scotland because i don't even though italy austria you know all that is really cool i have a bunch of family in scotland you know that i've i hardly know and i've only met a couple times well once and it would be kind of cool to, like, you know, be there, hang out, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think it would be cool to go live with them, you know, in that Scotland. Because my dad, well, my grandpa, not the one that's alive, the other one, my dad's dad, he was born in Scotland, and he lived there with his brother, and his brother's kids, they're the ones who live there. Oh. Um, and he lived there his whole life. Um but my grandpa moved here from Scotland, and uh, he lived here for most of his life. But he was he's Scottish, and so, yeah, for sure Scotland. That's where I would go. That's pretty cool. Family is definitely good to have wherever you go. Yeah, because, you know, I don't know anyone <laughs> anywhere else, you know, besides the United States, so. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Basically, last question, okay. Is there any yeah. any countries you have on your list that you want to visit in the future that you haven't been to? Uh, uh, yeah, I want to go to Australia. And it might sound weird, but Australia, there's these, like, kangaroo boxing matches. There's, <laughs> like, there's a guy that'll go in and box a kangaroo. What? I think you've yeah. told me about those before. <laughs> yeah, it's real cool. And then also, they've got, like, koalas who are super cute and, and a bunch of other, like, really interesting stuff. And, again, more history because from England, if there was really bad criminals, they just throw them on Australia. So it was basically just a big prison where they... So, because, like, it, there's shark-infested waters around, so they're, like... Well, these guys can't swim off, and England is so far away, you know? So there's no escape. So that's what they would do. That was a long time ago. Don't worry, Australians. They're not still roaming around. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, yeah, Australia. Uh, I know there's a lot of snakes and spiders. Wouldn't want to live there, but definitely would like to visit. And, uh, yeah, I just I think that would just be a really interesting place. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One. I got a question for you too. Um, if you had to visit uh, one country, where do you think you would go? Oh man, that's a good question. I think right now, just from what I've seen, I'd probably, I probably want to go to um, somewhere in Asia, probably or Japan. If just to visit, I would, I would say Japan, because well, that's a really good. That's a good answer. I think that would be a probably a second choice for me too. I think Japan is a is a really is a cool place, you know, I mean, obviously, there's, you know, in those, you know, Japan, China, all that stuff, there's always, you know, stuff going on, right, but visiting, for sure, would be, would be a really cool experience. Oh, yeah, sense. and you know me, I like sushi, I love sushi. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> of course, you'll find a sushi buddy somewhere there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, and they have huge sushi buffets for, like, pretty cheap, that's, that's where I would go to visit, for sure. Yeah, 
It's a great idea. But I mean, it's pretty dang far, and so is Australia. But it is. My know. mom wants to go to Australia. I would go there too. That would be an interesting place to go. We should all go one day. Oh yeah, for sure. It's a cool. I I think, and they have apparently nice people there, and they've got cool accents. So. <laughs> they do. They do have cool accents. Can you show us? Yep. Can you demonstrate? Do you have a good Australian uh, accent? Yeah. Put a shrimp on the bobby, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, dude, that that off- Sorry, any Australian. <laughs> that is very offensive in your culture. There is it. They don't like the shrimp on the bobby thing. Oh but, man. Well, I don't know. They think you're mocking them. Their accents. Well, you got anything else you want to share? Uh, yeah. One one thing. Um, this one story. I think I was in, I think this was in Switzerland, and uh, we were going to go on this hike. We just went on this tour from this guy. We were going to go on this hike, and literally right when we started the hike, it started raining, the hardest rain I think I've ever been in. What? And the rocks were slippery and everything and everyone was slipping and it was just hell it was awful and it was just a mess and we were falling behind and it was muddy it was just and i got all we all got dirty and wet and it was crazy and then we finally got to the end and guess what it stopped raining at the end oh my gosh did the sun come out yeah and it was a it was like the worst experience ever but it was a really cool, neat little town we went to, had some lunch, and then went on this cool little boat that took us back to where we started. So, you know, Oh, was, that's uh, nice. So you didn't have to was, hike all the way back? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, we were coming from a colorful town. You know those colorful towns? Like, just all the buildings are like pink, yellow, you know, blue, like, yeah. So that was a real cool, well, sorry, not cool. That was an, <laughs> that was an experience. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. So, yeah. Hey, it made for a good story, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wish I had some of that. I wish I had some pictures or something because, man, that was – it was way crazier than that. I could go in more detail, but we could save that for some other time. Well, that's pretty awesome. All right. So I guess that's going to wrap it up there. And – uh this is Brandon for Brandon Commentates. Make sure you go check out his channel. Link in description. Give him a subscribe. And uh, be back for some more future country talk. We're going to be doing a lot of research. And um, who knows, maybe we'll move out of the country someday. I know, right? Who knows? <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me, right? Yeah, yeah it does. Thanks for watching. Right, well, thanks for having me on today. That You're was welcome. That was fun. See you in the next one.